You have a ton of leads from your recent lead generation campaign. Congratulations. But now what do you do? If you want to learn how to convert those leads into customers, keep watching. Hi, I'm Morgan, digital marketing professional at Life Marketing. I've run a lot of lead generation campaigns in my time online, and I've learned quite a bit from collecting and trying to convert those leads into customers. I want to share my tips with you so that you can skip the line and start seeing better returns more quickly and affordably. Today, I've got a bunch of tips for converting those leads into customers, plus other things you can do with the leads you generate on Facebook, like retargeting campaigns and group invites. So let's get started. Let's look a little bit about lead generation campaigns on Facebook. A lead generation campaign helps to build interest in a product, service, or experience that your company offers. It also collects contact information for interested parties that you can use to reach out to them later. Lead generation campaigns cost a bit more than other objectives on Facebook, they're usually worth it because a lead is a more valuable interaction than a click or a view. Here's a look at a cost per click per objective for Facebook. Provided you've got good targeting and a clear objective, lead generation can be a successful part of your advertising strategy on Facebook. Let's look at how to use those. But first, why should you run the ads on Facebook? There are a few reasons actually. The first is that completion rate is higher since users don't have to leave Facebook to fill out that form. The second is that you can sync your CRM so that new lead information is automatically updated and gets to the teams who need it. The third reason is they're easy to set up and to customize. They show on Facebook and on Instagram, which means you can reach billions of people. So let's look at how to use the leads for conversions. Let's go over some of the best strategies, ideas, and examples for converting those leads to customers or clients. Just like with anything related to digital marketing, these aren't guaranteed to work. You can optimize your ads all you want. If your lead nurturing and sales processes aren't good, or your product or service isn't honed, the best ads in the world can't help you. Make sure you have a good business idea, great execution, and smooth processes. Then you can spend money on advertising. So what do you do with those leads? My first idea is to engage leads with retargeting ads. If you have leads that haven't engaged with you since they entered their information, or who you haven't heard from in a while, use retargeting to remind them about you and re-engage them. You can retarget lapsed leads with anything, but it should be interesting and relevant to them. Things that work really well are direct invitations to buy. You can speak directly to their pain points relatively easily. You could also offer them discount codes special offers, exclusive access, or content. Make sure that you exclude anyone who has made a purchase. That way, you don't bombard them and annoy them. Let me show you how to do that really quickly. First, you'll go to your ads manager and navigate to audiences. Click to create your audience. Next, select custom audiences. Now, select website traffic as your source. You're going to choose people who visited specific pages and enter the URL that folks see after they complete a purchase. This usually includes a thank you portion of the slug. You'll skip any identification portions. Name this audience and save it. Now you can add this to your exclude list so that your ads are only showing to people who haven't made a purchase yet. Now I'm going to talk about what to do with warm leads next, but first, here's a message from one of our co-founders. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. When you have warm leads, you want to get a yes early on. When looking for leads, you want to convert cold leads to warm leads, of course. And when you do have a warm lead, you want to nurture that lead so that it doesn't go cold again and wander away from you. A lot of businesses understand this, but I see them waiting way too long to put it into practice. You may be familiar with the old sales idea that getting folks to agree to a small yes, like giving you their email address, helps make it easier and more likely that they'll say yes to a bigger ask, like buying a product or becoming a client. The problem is, Leads get cold quickly, so if you follow a lot of the advice online, you won't reach back out to that contact to offer them something else for at least a couple of days, and that may be too long. Instead, I recommend you start asking for that next yes right away. Here's what I mean. If they download a PDF, use the last page or spots throughout to upsell your course, package, service, product, etc. They're already reading and interested, so why wait? Or if they gave you their email address, Send them an email immediately. Introduce yourself. Talk about what they gave you their email for. And then upsell or direct them to another product or service that would be useful to them. You could also add leads to a retargeting audience and show them ads aimed at converting them to buyers. These can be dynamic ads featuring your product catalog or ads that you create for a specific goal or purpose. 
If they've joined a free webinar, use that time to mention other items that they may find beneficial. And don't forget to use thank you pages on your website to direct customers to more great products or resources on your page. The ideas are really endless, so you could keep going with this. By the way, have you subscribed to our channel? That's the best way to stay up to date with the latest in small business marketing. Be sure to do that. Now the next thing you can do is invite leads to your Facebook group. While they're interested and ready to click, Get them over to your Facebook group. Your group should be built out and active with a wealth of information. You've probably experienced being really excited about a topic, a page, or a person that you've come across, only to feel deflated when there wasn't more than a couple pages worth of deeper digging that you can do. You want your audience to be able to lose themselves in this group if they want. Now, don't stress out if you're just starting a group or you don't have one yet. You don't need to wait until you have a ton of content to run ads. And you shouldn't rush to put out a bunch of mediocre content just because. Just focus on publishing quality content regularly and focus on helping your audience. I did a whole video on using Facebook groups to grow your small business. You can watch that to get a good idea of what you should do in those groups to keep people engaged and willing to convert. Next, you can convert those leads with video. Those retargeting ads that I mentioned earlier, you should absolutely be utilizing video when you're reaching out to your audiences. The internet is moving to video from 15 seconds to hours long, pre-recorded and live, so users have very little patience for non-video content. Engage your leads with a video that can give them more information and invite them to purchase, attend, sign up, or whatever your next call to action is. If you want to learn more about Facebook video ads, watch this video here. Real quickly, let's look at what else you can do with your leads. Now those are my favorite strategies to use, but they're not the only way to use and nurture leads. Here are a few more ideas. You can invite captured leads to a live event, either virtual or in person. You can invite leads to message you with your messenger ads. You can also find leads that you've gathered on Facebook, on Instagram, and encourage them to follow you there. If you run lead ads, you need to know how to convert and engage them after they've shown that initial interest. What's your favorite method? I'd love to hear what's worked for you so other small businesses and digital marketers can give it a try. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who would like it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Thanks so much for taking the time to learn with me. I'll see you later.